If you are trading the ICT model the normal way, then you should watch this video as I'll be giving you my top 3 ICT setups that will be giving you a higher win rate. It's not going to be the normal 2022 mentorship model, but more confidence is added to focus more on a higher probability setup. I'll go from top 3 to top 1, so make sure to watch the video till the end. If anyone needs one-on-one -on -one mentorship, check out the description. This is Molham and let's get into it. Now starting with what is the 2022 mentorship model. Now if you watch that mentorship, the 2022 one, then you would know that at the end of the mentorship, what ICT came out with is this model. Price needs to take any type of liquidity. So let's say that this is the previous day high, for example. This is a level of liquidity. We want to see this level being swept, which price going above it and then coming back into the range. That's the first thing. So the first thing is the sweep. Then we need to see a change of character or market success shift. And market success shift is disrespecting or closing below the last low. For example, we can see that price was creating this low, then a higher low. And this is a high where price broke above it. Now, where is the last low before price took this liquidity level? It's actually this one. Now we wait for the change of character or the market success shift. Price close below this. Now we have a confirmed change of character. Then we have a fair value gap here. As price was coming lower, we created a fair value gap. If price comes here, that's our entry. So we have a sell limit here, stop loss above the high and target any other type of liquidity. This is simply the 2022 mentorship model. So we wait for a sweep. We look for change of character. We wait for price to come back into a fair value gap. And that's our entry. Now, if I draw it, you know, in a good way, gonna be something like this sweep, change of character, price coming into a fair value gap, going lower. That's our fair value gap here. And we have the sweep here, and we have the change of character here. That's the 2022 mentorship model. Now, that setup is very good. You know, there is nothing wrong with it, it works, but we want to minimize the number of trades. So, if we just look for that specific type of setup, then we're gonna find a lot and some of them are not gonna be higher probability and we're gonna be losing some of the trades. And you don't wanna lose a lot of trades uh, in a row because that's gonna affect your account and it's gonna affect your psychology. So the first type that is gonna give us more higher probability trades and a higher win rate is the same as the one that we discussed. So price coming up, sweeping a liquidity and coming lower with a market success shift. What I want to see here, instead of just looking for a fair value gap here, and that's where we enter from, we actually want to see a bullish fair value gap here. So I want to see price going up, creating a bullish fair value gap. And then when it's coming down to, you know, give the change of character, I want to see another fair value gap here. So instead of just having one fair value gap here, I want to see two fair value gaps and the area where the two fair value gaps overlap or align with each other, which in this case is this one, right? And I'm gonna have it on another color. So let's say orange. This is the fair value gap that overlaps between the two, and that's where we can enter. So instead of just having, or you were, you know, waiting for this fair value gap to be created, we want to see two fair value gaps overlapping with each other. That's going to give us a higher win rate. And why is that? First of all, we're having this inverse fair value gap here that acts as a resistance now to the lower side, as well as having this bearish fair value gap also pushing price lower. So we have two things pushing price lower instead of just one thing, right? So this was a bullish fair value gap that got disrespected. And it was bullish, now it's bearish. And we have this bearish fair value gap created here, and it's a fresh one. So now, as I said, we have two things pushing price lower instead of one, and that is a higher win rate setup for the 2022 mentorship model. Now, this is called a PPR, a balanced price range. So when we have two fair value gaps overlapping with each other, that is a balanced price range. And this balanced price range inside of it, it has an inverse fair value gap also. So two fair value gaps with each other, that's a higher one rate. Let's go to the examples. 
Now the first example is on the euro dollar on the 15 minutes time frame and it happens a few days ago. Now if we look at here and this is a perfect example. Why? Because it also include or you know it has the AMD or the power of three. Basically we had the Asian session which is usually an accumulation and what we had on the London session is the manipulation and then the continuation on the New York session. So this was a very clean AMD. You see accumulation, manipulation right here, that's going lower, and then a continuation on the New York. So that was a very clean one. Now, how do we identify the 2022 Mitsubishi Shimoto? Now, if we see here, we have this accumulation, which is the Asian session, right? Looking at this, we have the high of the Asian session right here. And we can see that there was actually a liquidity sweep that happened here. Right, so we had a liquidity sweep, but price came back into the range on this candle, coming back into the range at the start of the London kill zone. The price came back into the range. That's our sweep. Now, change of character is at this point. This is the last fractal low before the sweep. So we had a closure below, confirming that this is now a market success shift or a change of character. Now, between the sweep, which is right here, so this is the sweep between the sweep and the change of character we look for that fair value gap and on this case we're not just looking for the fair value gap as i said on tab one we're looking for a balanced price range so as we're going up we had this fair value gap right this one right here and as we're coming lower we also had another fair value gap which is right here and actually this fair value gap when it's created on this candle this candle closed below this fair value gap which is telling me that this is now an inverse fair value gap. So it's gonna act instead of being bullish on this case, now it's bearish on the future. So now we have a bearish inverse fair value gap as well as a bearish fair value gap. Now those are overlapping with each other. And where does it overlap? From here to here. That's our balanced price range. It's this one. So if I go and use another color in this case. This is simply our balance price range. So let me give it another color. This is the one right here. Why? Because this is bigger than this one, and this one is inside of this one. Where does it overlap from here to here? 50% of this we can actually enter from. So looking at the entry here, stop loss above the high, and then target any level of liquidity, right? Any levels of liquidity we can actually target, and we can see that. This at least gives us like three to one or you know maximum of five to one, right? Five to one. Now we could have targeted this low hanging fruit for 2.28 or this fair value gap, for example, for 3.73. It depends on you. But this is the setup. We had two fair value gaps overlapping with each other. And when we you know combine this with the higher time frame, and as you say on this example, combine it with the AMD or the power three, it gives us that higher win rate. Now, as I said before, this setup is a high probability one. However, it doesn't happen often, as well as sometimes, you know, price will not go, you know, exactly to that balance price range. So if you see here, we had this balance price range from here to here, because that's where the two fair value gaps overlap with each other, the bullish one and the bearish one. And that's where price kind of come to, but not exactly. That's why, you know, this setup right here would be my last setup or, you know, in other words, my favorite one. And I'll go over it at the end of the video. So make sure to stay tuned. Uh, but this one, you know, the balance price range, really high probability, as I said, but it doesn't happen often. And sometimes price will not go inside of that balance price range. Why? Because the balance price range would be the last line of defense, right? Because we had a lot of fair value gaps here. Price will maybe will come to that. First fair value gap, this one, or this fair value gap, but it's not gonna go to the balance price range. If it goes there, high probability it will come lower. Now, again, what we see here is you see the market structure shift right here after the sweep in here. The price going up, the market structure shift happened. Where is the fair value gap overlapping? It's actually the smaller fair value gap inside of the big one here. So this is the balance price range and this is where price comes to but sometime you're not going to get the entry but that's the balance price range and you see that's where price actually reacted from 
and then started going up and even here what we see is price coming lower taking liquidity no market structure shift in this case but where did price react from so in this leg right here there are no fair value gaps except this one and on this leg right here there are a lot of different fair value gaps but where is the overlapping it's also this one and that's where price reacted from so as i said combine this with the kill zones combine this with the as i said amd and use it on the higher time frame it's much better and you're gonna have the success that i'm showing you right here now the second setup that i'm gonna show you and this is again a high probability setup i'm not just saying this for the sake of saying but i really mean it this is a high probability setup and i talked about it before but not uh, you know being in specific so what is the second setup it's called the unicorn or i'm gonna show you right now it's basically price going up again creating a low and then taking a liquidity right taking a liquidity from here and then the market structure shift but what i want to see here is not just a regular fair value gap here or not a balanced price range of two fair value gaps overlapping no so i want to see the sweep again and then the change of character but in here this point of the change of character usually this has an order block right usually here there is an order block and people looking at the lower time frame what they're gonna see is a breaker structure here and then an order block here and they're gonna be actually entering from this order block where they'll be stopped out because this is your change of character on your time frame right and some people especially beginners they're not gonna be able to you know differentiate between the order blocks and the change of character or the liquidity sweep and the breakout structure so some people fall into this and that's why you're taking advantage of this so what you're gonna do is wait for the change of character here and you want to see a fair value gap that is created inside of this low so this low right here i want to see a fair value gap inside of that low the fair value gap here and we we want to see the low inside of it this way we actually have two things overlapping with each other which is the breaker block or the low as well as the fair value gap two things overlapping with each other now where am i gonna have my sell limit it's gonna be at the low inside of the fair value gap so here is the low this is the overlapping it's gonna be here now with this setup you don't need to set your stop loss above the high because this is a high probability setup and just price disrespecting and closing above this fair value gap it just tells you that uh, it's not going to be a winning trade most likely and those two overlappings you know the breaker block and the fair value gap they really push price lower as soon as it gets in here maybe it's going to go above but it really pushes price lower that's why you can have a stop loss just above the fair value gap or you know uh at the order block somewhere in here and then have your take profit anywhere you know on the low hanging fruit or any type of liquidity that's what you want to see so breaker block aligning with the fair value gap a very high probability setup let's look at the examples now a very clean example of type 2 which is the breaker block and fair value gap is actually this one so what do we see here uh we want to focus on kill zones actually now what do we see is this liquidity sweep that happened here and then price immediately came back into the range so only two closures below or actually three closures and then price came back into the range so that's our liquidity sweep and then that's our change of character here price closed above it with a displacement now we have this fair value gap we also have this fair value gap and we have this fair value gap all the way below here which one do i use that's why we need to use this type 2 setup which is the overlapping of this high that's where the change of character happened that's where some people were looking for this as a breaker structure and this as an order block and then they wanted to continue lower but what happened is price displacing above now we have this high that is overlapping with the fair value gap you see how there is a fair value gap from here to here and we have this high which is the high of the breaker block now what we can do is either use the wicks to enter so have a buy limit at the wick 
of, of the high, right? And then stop loss just below this order block, for example, and then target any level of liquidity. Or what you can do is enter from the bodies of the candle. So you see, this is the wick, this is the body. We can actually also enter from here, right? And our entry is going to be right here. And for example, stop loss below the low of the order block and then target any other liquidity level. You see, this is a very clean setup. Sometime uh, in this example, we have a liquidity sweep. We have the change of character. And also again here, what we have is this low aligning with this fair value gap. That's also a high probability one. So that's why we know that price is going to reach here. You don't need to enter at the you know, uh, beginning of the fair value gap because that's going to minimize the reward to risk. But you can actually enter from the wick of this. So my entry is going to be here, stop loss just above this high, for example, and then target any low. In this case, if you entered from the body of the candle, I don't think you're going to get an entry here. Price did not go all the way there. That's why, you know, you need to balance between or just, you know, be satisfied if price did not come back to. So pick the one that you want, but know the pros and cons of each type of entry. Now, this one entering from the wick, you're going to get the entry. Now. This is out of the kill zone. So either way, I'm not going to be taking this one. If we go to the left, we also, I think there is an entry here. There you go. On the landing kill zone, we see that we had a liquidity sweep here. The change of character did not happen until the start of the landing kill zone. So there you go. This is the change of character here, right? Price came lower. Now, if you use the body of the candle here, this is your body of the candle. This is your change of character. We have a fair value gap aligning with the body of the candle or the low. The low would be actually at the beginning of the fair value gap, but the body would be on the middle, almost at the middle. So entering from here could be doing this, right? Entering from the body of the candle. Stop loss in this case above the high. And why? Because this is just a fair value gap here. It's, you know, we, we have our stop loss above the fair value gap. If, the swing high is too far. In this case, it's not really that far. So I'm going to be having my stop loss above and then target any other liquidity level, right? To see how price really went deep uh, down. So that's the top of the entry, breaker block, or simply an old low or high aligning with a fair value gap after the market such a shift. This is called the unicorn. It's a very high probability setup. If you combine this with the kill zones as well as the macros, I've talked about macros before. It's going to be a really a high probability one. Now into my favorite setup among all of the 2022 mentorship setups variations. This is my best one. And this is the one that I actually use most on my trading. So as we all know, waiting for a liquidity sweep and then a market such a shift. Those are the first two things to happen on the 2022 mentorship model. Now. So after the change of character happened, we always wait for a fair value gap to be created on this leg right here, right? After the liquidity sweep and the change of character, we wait for that fair value gap to happen or to be created in between. Now, when this happened, what we usually do is set a set limit here or here or at the balance price range. On this case, we're not going to be doing this. What we're going to do is wait for price after the change of character to go up either below the fair value gap in this case, and then goes lower. It could break structure here, or it could, you know, just go here. Really doesn't matter, you know. It matters, but not for you as of now. I know when it happens, and I know when it doesn't, but you don't need to know it as of now. So it could either be here, below the fair value gap, or it could go into the fair value gap, part of the fair value gap. So not the 50%, but below it. On this case, I'll be considering this as an inducement. So the first touch into the fair value gap, I usually consider an inducement if it doesn't go to the 50%. On this case, it, it could you know create another breakout structure here or no breakout structure. As I said, it doesn't matter for you as of now. That's my framework for this setup. I want to see change of character after the sweep and then creating a fair value gap with a high inside or with a high below it. When I have this, I can now rely on this fair value gap as a high probability one only before the main draw in liquidity is taken. So if the draw in liquidity here is taken, then price is going up. I'm not going to be taking the setup. 
but if I have my main drone liquidity here, and then we have this inducement here, if price comes and take this, I'll be taking this straight to the main drone liquidity. So this inducement, I'll be having my sell limit above it, slightly above it, right? Because it's going to be taken stop loss above the high and then targeting the drone liquidity. Or you could look for any other type of entry other than sell limit. So you could look for a change in state of delivery or market order in there or candle pattern. It's your choice at the end. But I want to see uh, a sweep of this high. This is the highest probability setup in the 2022 mentorship model, period. I'm really sure about this. Why? Because I've been using this for a long time. And as I said, this is the highest win rate one ever. Let's look at the example. Now, you guys remember this entry right here that we took on the first, or, you know, actually on the second type where we have the overlapping. So we had the sweep. We had the change of character. We had the overlapping. We could use the body in this case. And we enter from here. Price goes all the way here. If you went break even on this case, you would be stopped out. Why? Because price came back again into the fair value gap and then the real move starts. So you'd be stopped out here and you'll miss the rest of the move. How do you avoid that? And how do you get really the sniper entry by doing this? What happened here is after the change of character here, right? And also here, price went lower, came again into the fair value gap and created a high. This high, this fractal high, this is your inducement. This is the level, this is the highest liquidity level that you ever had. And that's where price will come to and react from. And what you can see here, either using a sell limit or any type of entry. In this case, I'll just go with a sell limit. Sell limit at or slightly above the high, right? And on this case, as we say, it's stop loss above the high. And take profit at any other liquidity. So this is, for example, a liquidity level uh, we have a fair value gap below it or this external liquidity entering from here that's your setup and you see how you get a sniper entry only a little bit of drawdowns and if you don't want a drawdown you can actually take another type of entry which is the change of state of delivery or any pattern uh, candle pattern on this case now the same way we look at this what we see here on this is this was london session Looking at the New York, what we have is sweep, right, in this, and then change of character in this case. Now, when the change of character happened, did we have a fair value gap? Yes, we had this fair value gap. Now, if you're following the third type, which is the inducement, did we have an inducement in here? The answer is yes. This is the inducement that was created. Inducement created, price went lower. This inducement now could be used as an entry. So, short position in here, stop loss either above this high or somewhere in here. I'd be good with this. And I'll just have it a little bit above in this case. And then target any other liquidity level. In this case, we have this liquidity level or we have this fair value gap or this fair value gap. You know, uh, price gave us about 3.5 to 1 on this case. And you see how price really took that high in a fair value gap and started going lower so that's a perfect 2022 mentorship model not only the normal one but a higher probability and higher win rate one it happens over and over and this is a very clean setup that put it all together for you so what do we see here no liquidity sweep but a mitigation of a fair value gap and this could also work so we see a mitigation of a fair value gap and when price came here reacted going lower did we create a fair value gap going up? Yes. Did we create a fair value gap coming down? Yes. So we have this balance price range also. This balance price range where price could come to and price only goes there. It will really react aggressively, but not every time price will go to. But do we have another fair value gap to the lower side? Yes. So we have this and we have the change of character already happening by closing below here. Did we have an inducement? That's another question. Did we have an inducement in this fair value gap? So this is our fair value gap. Do we have an inducement? Yes, it makes this a very high probability setup. So a sniper entry, where would it be? Sell limit above the high inside of this fair value gap, stop loss above the high, and we could be targeting what? The Asian low. This is the Asian low. There we go. Sniper entry and a sniper take profit here. Empress goes up goes lower 
continue is going up so very high probability i mean even here we don't know what happened uh we took yeah so we took this liquidity level in this case we go up no change of character on this case still no change of character but what happened here is this if you can notice what happened is price came to the fair value gap right did it go to the 50 percent no what happened here is price created this inducement and when taken what happened so you know regardless of the change of character but just focusing on the inducement by itself we can actually have a buy limit just below the inducement so close below the low and you see how we're really getting that sniper entry the same way and targeting for example this fair value gap or any other liquidity level right so for example this fair value gap and there you go that's a very high probability setup so at the end of this video you have three main variants of the 2022 mentorship model three setups that are high in probability go back to any of those see the one that fits you fits your personality fits your you know risk management and go with one of those back test it and you will see that if you stick to one of those you're really gonna find the success i wish you the best make sure to join the discord as i do have a lot of education content in there as well as some live sessions and streams if you like this type of content make sure to check the other content as well as hitting the like button leaving a comment and sharing this video with your friends this is Molham and I'll see you next video.